we're back. We are. Sorry, it's been a while. It has, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a couple, couple of weeks. Sorry, apologies We've for had that. A little, have you missed us? Have you? Have you, you really? Did you miss me? I missed you lots. I've seen you though. Well, we, we did see each other, yeah, we, didn't we? Yeah. We just like, you know, just didn't broadcast it. No, no, we didn't broadcast it. You know, some things need to be private. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? And what a week to come back on. Yes. Wow, a lot's happened in the last week, isn't it? Crazy, crazy week. Which is the subject of today's podcast. I mean, in, 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 um, in the space of a week, we've got a new Prime Minister. Yep. And sadly, the Queen passed away. Mm-hmm. And, Very sad. Um, and now we have a king. Yeah. A new king. That's a weird... It trying is. to get your head round King Charles III. Yeah. Yeah. What? And we're going to have kings from now on. Yes, yes we will, because uh, is it uh, William's next? And George. And George, yeah. yes. So, yeah. So it'll be quite a while before there was another queen. So we thought that we would just put our little two cents in. Of literally memories of of our lifetime yeah. in the Queen's reign, because obviously I I'm 1970 onward. I'm 19 <coughs> onwards. <laughs> Don't be ashamed, darling. Um, 1966 onwards. And uh, good year. Yeah. And literally, it was memories of oh. of because she's everyone was saying like in the news they cannot remember her not being here she was like the grandmother of the nation and and i think that was probably true yeah i think it's like a sort of a comfy pair of slippers wasn't it yes. you know and we don't know any different and now it's almost quite surreal what's yeah. happened um but yeah uh, it's it's a weird time i mean i think we need to stop st- interesting point to start off with i'm not particularly a royalist I have nothing against the royal family at all. Mm-hmm. I think it's a great institution for tourists and all that kind of thing. I think a little bit is outdated, but that's just my opinion, you know, um, in the modern world. But, you know, worldwide, mm. she's, she, you know, Queen Elizabeth was, was well loved. I loved her, you know. You see, that's the difference between mm. us, Sapphire and Steel, because I, I mean, I, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a total monarchist, but I love history mm-hmm. and you know, I love the whole pomp and ceremony and, and the oh, things... Oh, no. No one does it like the Brits. No. no one does and it like the no, Brits. And, and the royal family in some ways are, you know... I, I love Diana, so she was a ma- major thing in my life. But with the Queen, I think she, over the years, my personal opinion is that over the years, she got warmer, mm-hmm. friendlier, out there more. Because when I was growing up, she was like this, this figure that you kind of respected and she was up here, but you didn't have that personal thing. Mm. I think in the latter years, since Diana, I would say, Diana's death for sure, she has become a lot more... um, You feel like you feel like a bit more... uh, She's a bit more approachable, a bit more... I think she came across very shy. Yes. Very very humble, very shy though. There's a photograph that came out recently of her and she's she's got quite the dark, you know, dark hair, beautiful tiara... Beautiful red Obviously lips. Beautiful Tourette's. And yeah. <laughs> and, and the blue, and blue eyes. She was actually a very beautiful yeah, woman. Yeah, she was. Yeah, yeah. Um, Even in later life, she was and, a very attractive lady. And yeah. some of her fashions as a woman, looking back, you go, wow. Um, and also what I like about her is as a woman, she has stayed there for like, what was it, 70 years? 70 years, years yeah. And she, you know, yeah, she was a mother. People forget she was a mother, a wife, a granny. Yeah, well, a so gran- is millions you know. of other people. But you know, this, this is where I get this thing. Yeah. Um, the only thing about oh, they dedicated their life to. Yeah. All right, yeah, but from the most privileged position ever. Absolutely. And you got served. You know, all right, you're a wife and mother, but you have people who yeah. help you. So, you know, that's why I get a little bit cynical, yeah. but not taking away the the love we have for the woman. But I also think that her life, because that goes with the, it goes with the territory, is on show. If pretty much everything. Mm. Is out there. We're watching her, and and there were some times. So, over, I, I think over I think she was the most photographed woman in history. Yeah. yeah. So for me, one of my first memories of her reign, really, really remembering it, obviously, is the, is the Queen's speech as as a youngster, mm-hmm. because you know, mum and dad would put it on Christmas Day, and it was like religiously you had to watch it. Um, it was like three o'clock. Put it on. Yeah, I think so. Did you have your dinner? Oh, you're about to have your dinner and you would wait. And I, you know, I remember my uncle, bless him, he's long gone now. He'd be like, oh, no, no, got, you know, Queen's speech on. And he'd almost stand to attention. It was, there was a lot of respect for that whole Christmas day. Mm. And I think that still one. was prominent even in the last couple of years. Yeah. People still tuned in. Do you remember that? Was, was it the Channel 4 alternative Christmas message? Yes. Yeah, which I used to 
probably watch that more. Um, <laughs> not that I, I don't watch television at all, hardly at all anymore. Um, but yeah, that, that it's a staple diet, and it's going to be weird this Christmas yeah. with the Charles King. III. It's weird saying King, isn't it? And it's, I like the fact that he's taken Charles III's. Uh, you know he hasn't changed his name because he could have used either Philip or Arthur or George or whatever but he's used Charles and I like that because let's be honest the first Charles the first notorious second Charles lost his head for it the second Charles the second notorious yeah and so he's now he's actually gone you know what I'm just going to go with that and I, I like the fact that he's just carried on using it mm. but it is for, with the king God save the king because it's been 70 years before we until we've said that it's weird as well because I think you know I th- the thing I've not been able to understand the last couple of days with what's going on is how quickly Charles was made king yeah. there was no didn't they get, I don't understand why they can't give him a little bit of mourning time proper no. t- t- time to well, him to with the family I suppose they've got to get him in pretty quick but why <laughs> they're not it, they're not like running the country why do they need to be so quick but that's how it's always been isn't yeah. it tradition but Give a guy a couple. He's doing a tour of the he United might, Kingdom. He, you can see as the days are going on, he's starting to look tired. tired. He snapped at that guy. See the footage of him snapping to his aid. Which one was that? Uh, it's back to a speech, and he got uh, his footage going around Twitter and that where he he went oh, no, move out of the way, and he was got getting a little bit angry. Yeah, well, the but thing then again, he's lost his mama. Come on. I do. I do remember like. Um uh, Princess Diana saying in that famous interview, she always felt his personality would be stifled by the main. Jo- I think she mm. called it the main. The main job. Um, but but for me, it's like I he's seventy three. Mm-hmm. I really don't know whether he's going to be able to. Um, you know, yeah, do it for that's long. a very good point. Would, why didn't he? Wouldn't he say, "Well, actually, look, I'm seventy three now. I was expecting yeah. this to happen, but let's give it to." I think to he William. probably wants his. I think he'd been wanting it for years. Yeah, you know, you've waited that long, and mm. suddenly it's here. Um, and but I think you know I, I do a lot so of Camilla's it, Queen Consul is consul, that right? Yeah. Consul and then that has it has stuck in some people's throat mm. because obviously the circumstances that she came to be his wife. Um, a lot of people quite rightly still remember the whole time and, and, and obviously what Diana Princess Diana went through, and I think it must be difficult because you're. You've got. I mean, did you did you notice yesterday we were talking about just very briefly when they were walking in front of the her, the Queen's coffin, somebody shouted out and said about Princess uh, Prince Andrew, mm, which I thought was all right. Well, your opinion on your Prince across, Andrew? But the yeah, but that timing sucks. was completely yeah. wrong. That's not the kind. Of, no, Absolutely. that's not the time. Yeah, it's and time yeah, and there's a, a lot of controversy around Prince Andrew. Um, but that was the wrong time. No, absolutely, absolutely wrong time. I mean, there's a time and a place for things, right? But yeah. I, I just felt like it was <laughs> didn't do him any good anyway. No. Um, but for me, like, um, what was your first sort of memory of the Queen? I think, apart from sort of seeing her on TV, I think the, the uh, Silver Jubilee. Yeah. We had a big marquee in our close where we live, and we had a big party yeah. going on, um, which was fantastic. Um, so yeah, I think that. And then when we had um, when Charles and Diana got married, we had a big street party in the next street. Mm. So good. These street parties were great fun. They were when we were yeah. growing up. Though. I wouldn't go to them now. I'd be like, no, too many people. I, I had a, <laughs> we had a street party in the nineteen seventy seven one, and it was so exciting. It went down this massive road, and everyone was. So oh, we had a big excited. marquee made and everything. Yeah, you know, and and we we took food. We had it was such a good family day and memory. And I think somewhere along the line, we've lost. I think so. That, yeah, I think so. Because it was a chance to be with your family, a chance to just forget everything else for that day. Now, because everyone will be... I mean, I noticed when he was walking around, using this as an example, everyone's got their phone or, their, or, or you know... It's the same when you see uh, some concert footage yeah. of watching the um, Taylor Hawkins, clips from the Taylor Hawkins tribute band from Foo yeah. Fighters. I love Foo like Foo Fighters, by the way. And literally, if it's someone from the crowd, everyone's like that. Everyone's... Yeah. Put their phones up like that. Watch the gig. Watch the gig. All right, take a couple of pictures, fine, but watch the gig. And I think that's what one of the security guys said. He said, look, enjoy the moment. You know, he actually said, put your put your, you know, your phone down, enjoy the moment. Um, and I, you know, for me, it was like the, the uh, it was like the red, white and blue. And it was very patriotic. And so um, everywhere around the country... And I don't remember being for the platinum one. Sadly, where we are, there wasn't many parties. No, there wasn't, was there? Which was a shame because you think that would be. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, with Charles, for example, I was at um, 
this guy, no, I'll come back to Charles in a minute. Uh, with the Queen, back in 2003, uh, there's a, a, a royal school in Croydon, and she's one, she's the, the patron, mm. it's a royal school, and she came there to dedicate something uh, there. And I'm invited to help film the event. Mm. Now, she came with her official photo- uh, videographer, who, do, who was with her for years doing yep. video, but we were officially allowed to do it as well. So I've got great footage of Queen Elizabeth yeah. from this gig, doing speeches and all that kind of thing. I don't know what the footage is now. And what would she like to see her in person? Little Just saying, person. very humble, very, looks like a bit shy, you know. Mm-hmm. And I found a um, big sense of humour, mm. big sense of humour. You know, I was probably between, say, you're, well, not, probably about 10 foot from her. From her. She's quite small. Yeah, very, very small. small. That's something you, you, when she was on her own on the TV, she didn't look that small. But when you actually see her in her one, she was very small. But I think for me, one of the, you know, um, before I come back to another point, when I saw that last photograph of her with the Prime Minister. Oh, that's been a meme at the moment, the, isn't it? The, the way she's, uh, the big Liz Truss. Uh, on the on yeah. the hand, she reminded me of mine. Of Sorry, that's Henry. Those listening, that's Henry, that's Henry the lovely dog. She reminded me of Henry. Uh, she reminded me. I'm so sorry. Look, Henry, you're driving me nuts. Remind me of a dog. She reminded me of my nan, and in some ways, my mum, mm-hmm. because I think anyone who's got parents or grandparents around that age really brings it home to you that not only. It, it just made me quite emotional seeing her like this little old lady in front of the fire. And it doesn't matter whether you're into her or not. It brought back, it made me have feelings of my own nan, who I sadly miss, and uh, and of my mum and how age comes to all of us and ill health and being on your own, I, although she's not Well, I'm going to say, I mean, this is a whole other topic about yeah. health. You don't have to have ill health. There are things no. you can do. But I mean, old age, in old age, oh, no, it yeah, but you can still be old age and be pretty healthy if you look we after yourself. We all know that you're going to be like. I'll be 150. <laughs> 150, um, time lord. Time lord. <laughs> but yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It brought home, like, because, you know, my nan was in her. Uh, my nan was 85 when she died. And um, she loved, you know, she, you know, she loved the royal family. And, um, you know, it just, when I saw her like that, and she had a beautiful smile on that picture. Mm-hmm. And. It must have been in a no matter what she was obviously going down quite quite rapidly, and obviously there is an underlining cause. Um, but she still got out of bed and she still did that, mm. and she put a smile on. And I thought, what a beautiful picture, even with the bruise and everything, which I think looks like a cannula or something like it's been in there. And I just thought, I that that, that picture remained my favourite of her because it's that pure rawness in that moment. Um, and she seemed bright as a button, and then she must have. It must have just been enough. And mm, that was it. Obviously, yeah. leaving, you know, losing her husband in yeah. a couple of years as well. Probably didn't I think help. when you lo- when you're married to someone for a long time, or you're with someone for a long time, and and like my mum has been, with, and my, both my parents have lost their their partners. Um, Twenty five years with one, and and thirty plus with another, and they've never got over it. Um, and they feel like part of them are missing. And even though they get up every day and they carry on doing stuff, there's that emptiness and no grandchildren and children feel it. I mean, that's interesting you say that, and you're absolutely right. My mum, who's 91 now, and we lost our dad when I was 14 in 1980. Yeah. So, you know, she never remarried. Yeah. So, you know, there's that big gap, but yeah. So we get a bit solemn here, guys. But it, but it, but it's true because yeah. it does bring back. I mean, that's a lot. A lot of people were saying it does bring up memories yourself of your own life because you know. Look, going back to the other one was obviously Charles and Diana's wedding. I was eleven, and um, I remember the Queen chasing after their um, their just married sign. You mm. know, they were all chasing after, waving to them, and everyone was thinking there was this fairy tale princess. Mm. Obviously, we all know different now, but. That was another time in, in, in my life. And also when her her mother and sister died, you know, it brings back... It, it does bring it back and reflect on your own life. At that point, you are in your life thinking, well, how much longer have I got with my family? Um, so I think when I've seen what... And I've watched a lot of people on telly recently, they've all said, it. you know, they're thinking of their own mum or the people they've lost. So it is quite touching in lots of mm. ways. But it's just, I mean... With here's a little thought. I used to work in on a slightly sort of related topic. I was with um, I used to work in the West End mm. in the late nine in the late nineties. In between that and go, working in America, and um, I I had I served Charles and Camilla about I think two or three times, two or twice, 
and on this the first time was their official uh out in the public as a couple and all the paparazzi turned up and everything mm. and he came in the foyer and hello good evening you know, and I, <laughs> you know and said, hello. I, I can't remember if i said your highness or anything like that but um so long ago but yeah that's it so, so i met them a couple of times they're very nice very charming you know um mm. as they came in uh do we have any royals when i was working in the west end no i don't think so no but yeah but charles a bit i worked with a couple you know, had in a couple of times it was quite interesting. A friend of mine worked for Buck Palace, you know, Buckingham Palace. And Buck, she, Palace. Buck Palace. Buck Palace, not mine. <laughs> Just like Buck Palace. There you go, I'm going to Buck Palace, And mate. she was saying that, you know, she obviously got to meet all of them in, in her time and, and that Camilla is quite quite lovely, quite down to earth. I've heard that, yeah. And I love the fact that she works, she's at Battersea Dogs Home. For me, like, animal charities are massive and, and I love the fact that she's, out there and she also took on the domestic violence um against women you know mm-hmm. i think that was quite a good uh, charity to do but i think there was a lot of difficulty in in her queen elizabeth's reign when diana died there was a lot of animosity and where were you when diana died i'd actually had an i'd actually broken uh, uh, sorry i fractured my radi- radi- radium bone and I was um, at home and I woke up early in the morning and I heard the news and I couldn't believe she she was gone. And I actually flew out to Northern Ireland um, a couple of days later and I got engaged in Northern Ireland. As you do. As you do. And I remember watching the funeral in, and dare I say, like the Catholic end of Northern Ireland. My fiancé was from that area from the falls road area and uh and it was like everybody was glued doesn't matter what what uh you know religion you were or or what nationality you were everybody was watching it because and there was a lot of like why didn't this happen sooner why didn't that and there's lots of as you know conspiracy ideas and theories yeah about what's we're going not gonna on. go down but it does make we're you keep it light <laughs> it does make you look back on history and go wow you know that what about you where were you i was in america in north america i was on uh, it was my second um summer camp mm. it's after the kids had gone home because yeah, uh, and i was staying on on the campsite just outside new york and i literally got up one morning put on was it put on the radio and went oh my god mm. and, so, and so i wasn't even in the country when it happened but there was there was so much animosity yeah. wasn't there and mm. i remember when she came down back to London I think she was a little bit worried about what was going to happen but you know and then obviously she made that really amazing speech which I think you know for her it went against all tradition everything that they've done before so that I look back and think yeah that was quite a landmark um but I also think as well with her even if she had a bad day or she had ill health you never knew it Mm. You never saw it on her. I saw also, it, you could know. say it for millions of other people. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm not a big fan of. But that loops. generation. Yeah, I'm not a fan of big. Yeah, I th- no, yes, it's a very generational thing. I'm just. I'm one of these people who look, look, don't look up at elite people. Mm. You know, some right, they've been born it. They don't know anybody. But you, you can't help being born into that kind no. of wealth. Well, she was never meant to be no, there, wasn't. was she? Yeah, but also, my right, she didn't have to take it. No, no. Um, we're glad she did. Mm. We're glad she did. It, I'm not sure the alternative, what the alternative would have been. Who would have been? Well, I suppose it would have gone to Princess Margaret. Oh, but, blimey. Which would have been quite an eye-opener. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's been yeah, quite a few yeah. parties. Yeah. But um, that age group, I think you're right, they had that kind of... Just get, get on up, with it. Get on with it. All the you, snowflakes nowadays would be like, oh, no, I got you know, And they kept everything in. They didn't share their emotions. They didn't show their feelings. And yet they're underneath the surface. They but were. if you think back, is, is that a good thing? I don't think it is. Yes and no. I think sometimes it is good to not have it all out there, other time and and to have that kind of dignified. And other times, yes. Um, but I think when you've done it for so long, it's very hard to turn that mm. off, isn't it? But and, and one of the other memories for me was when she, through the stupid COVID rules, she sat on her own at the funeral. We won't. We might do a podcast about uh, COVID, but we might get cancelled. But um, <laughs> but but that just made me feel like she's. She was on her own. Everyone was on this side, but she was on her own. No one could sit a couple of seats away from her. I, I thought to myself at the time, 
That is just ridiculous. It's co- completely ridiculous. Why would you make any... I mean, they did it to all of us, but you know. But I'm saying with her, she could have had someone a couple of seats away. So that's another memory that, that came back. Um, um, that's Henry. Henry, Henry, Henry agrees. Henry's living. And she was a dog lover. Yes. I hear that William and Katie can look after the uh, corgis. Well, she's got a, a doggy. And I think she's got a spaniel or something now. Right. Um, but there's there's two of there's two. But she loved her dogs. And for me, I, you know, any animal, nothing. any animal, yeah. I'm a massive. Yeah. But those corgis. I mean, I, also the other one we have to talk about James Bond sketch. Oh, for the uh, 2012 uh, Olympics. Fantastic. Good evening, W Seven. And apparently, she kept that quiet yeah. from all the family. They didn't know. Those have seen this video from me for 1993. It's on my channel on this channel. From way back when, uh, it's a 1993 um, video for me doing. I was a tour guide for the Spit and Image Rubble Works. Remember Spit and Image? It's just come back, and um, I've got my hand up Her Majesty's back guy puppet, and I go, "Hello!" Um, and I did a really good, yeah, little. See that video anyway. Um, that was amazing, though. I was yeah. watching a, a, a program, and, he, and they said no one knew she was doing it. She had a great sense of humour, and I thought that was a brilliant sketch. Yeah, oh, yeah. Completely British, the Queen, Corgis, and James Bond, yeah. and Daniel Craig was like. <clears throat> In the background, he was brilliant. Good evening, W7. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Uh, I'm sure she kind of enjoyed that with yeah. him, actually. Yeah. Um, but ten years ago, gosh. I cannot believe it was that yeah. long yeah, ago. Yeah, ten years ago. And now we, we stand on the on a brand new, um, you know, we have King. And where will England go with that? I mean, there's lots of controversy with him there's a horrible there's a hashtag going not my king I know it's going really? around yeah. oh I haven't seen that I, I, mean, I, I have it's, I don't have an opinion either way yeah. really I don't have an opinion either way on, on the royal family because I think from a tradition point of view yes it brings in tourists on that but mm. other than that it's elitism which I'm not a big fan of anyway I have to say and I hope I'm not speaking out of town here but I actually think there will be a lot of support for William when he becomes king yeah because I think he has a lot of people behind him already. He's seeing at an early age exactly what's going to happen. Where you know he's. I watched him the other day watching his father, and you see he's taking this on and thinking, "I've got to do this." You know, I've got to do this. And also because of who's he doesn't son. have to though. Oh, but he will. Yeah, he will. But it's a choice. You don't have to do but it. But his because of his mum. Mm. And he's a Spencer, <clears throat> you know, and a Spencer. I was watching a great uh, documentary about the Spencers and how feisty they are and how, you know, they, I mean, Diana's his, his, um, family history is amazing, but um, I think there's going to be a lot of support. Diana's um, uh, butler, is it Burrell? Um, yeah. Yeah, he liked a couple of my videos recently. Did he really? yes, he, On Instagram, yes, he commented on a couple. Well like done. Nothing. He does like little history videos as well, so he's... he's being very complimentary in the past. How's your mum taken to it that the Queen's gone? Uh, very sad because she once again she's grown up with it. She went to Buckingham Palace as a kid. Yeah. Uh, there were these big garden parties. Uh, so yeah, she's been very upset over it. Yeah. You know. And I mean, my mum. I don't. Th- I, I haven't seen my mum upset, but I think she was very sad because she. <laughs> my mum, bless her. She said she was older than me. She said, and now she's gone. Yeah. I feel like, oh my God, there's no one older than me. Mm. And it, it, she said it brought home to her her age. And the fact that my, she was 1952. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. And my mum was young. And now... My mum, got, my mum and dad got married that year, 1952. Really? Yeah. So I think for, for the, perhaps some of the generation that's come from that area, it's really... Yeah. And also, don't knock people. Home. Some people have said it was sad, but they're not, they're not mourning or anything. Don't no. knock people because no. they're not royalists and they don't no. mourn. If they think it's sad because someone's no. died, it's a mother... You know, as a grandmother, but don't knock people if they're not in. It's like, can we just get on with life? You know. But do you remember that video we did uh, a couple of months ago, and we were celebrating. We would, we were actually somewhere, and there it was all the plat- um, platinum jubilee stuff. Yes. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. And you and I were talking about yeah. it on the video, and here we are mm. now, just a couple of months. I know later. that was in uh, that was in Down, wasn't it? Down, yeah. coming out of Down Church. And now yeah. we're talking about this, yeah. but I think. One thing you and I have always agreed on is that life should be celebrated. No yeah, absolutely, life is. absolutely. I mean, we knew it was going to be blanket TV coverage. We knew, I don't watch yeah. TV anyway, but I knew it was going to be blanket TV coverage because it's a historic mm-hmm. moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it'll go down in history. Uh, but is it too much? I don't know. Every single channel has got... Well, if you have satellite, you've got loads of other yeah, channels to and watch. Yeah, and go for Netflix. Exactly. You know, yeah. But I mean, for me, I've, I've been absolutely glued to all the uh, pomp and ceremony because I've never seen it. 
Um, mm. And I, who knows? I may someone never... said, who's paying for all this? Yeah. <laughs> well, I might never all... see it again because no. there's no guarantee I'll be around when William comes, right? Who knows? Um, so I've you're enjoyed... A time, you're a time lady. Well, that's true, yeah. but you never know. Yeah. Right? I could get shot by a Dalek or you whatever. You could do, yeah. yeah you know? Yeah. So I think it's it's good that I've I've watched it and I've learned a lot and I've been thinking of going out there actually, just to sort of see the atmosphere, pick up the atmosphere um, because it is really once in a lifetime. Yeah, I don't as I said, like Charles could go on for another twenty years. Yeah, easy. They've all got very long longevity genes, haven't yes, they? Yes, unlike the rest. Yes, of us. well, no, not necessarily. But it's nice that we could, we wanted to just share. Um, have you got any other memories from that time? With uh, no, I think no. Meeting the meeting the Royal Charles and that that time at the lyric a couple of times was great. Um, I think the the overriding memory was the, the street parties. Yes, in the seventies and eighty one. God, remember whenever I hear shaking Stevens, shaking Stevens, this old door, this old door, no, this old house is made. Yeah. That's playing at the nineteen eighty one party, and I always remember that sticks in my head for some reason. So, yeah, the street yeah. parties are great fun. I mean, one of my favourite monarchs was Elizabeth I. And isn't it amazing that the two Elizabeths, hundreds of years apart, have had the longest mm. and quite the most successful reign, mm. you know. And, um, you know... Well, even other countries call it the Victorian period, the Elizabethan period. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. Well, we've had two now, haven't yeah. we? Elizabeth, Elizabeth I, Elizabeth II. And I actually wonder, when will it be that we will have another queen? Not in our lifetime. No, I mean, you're looking, what, 100 years yeah, at least? Yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah, if there is another one. Mm. Um, and as a woman, I've got to say, I, I'm still getting learning that God save the Queen is still there rather than I always find it very, as we wrap this up, I, I, I've never liked the phrase, the Queen is dead, long live the King. No, I don't it's like a horrible, that. It's a yeah. horrible phrase. And it's yet, like, oh, the King is dead. Oh, long live the King. What? But also because, like in, in the old days, like the, the 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 air would be by the by the the, mm. the monarch that was passing, because it had to go straight to them. Like mm. the ring had to be given to them, mm. and everything had to be passed. So, um, yeah, I did think that must be very hard to hear that. Mm. Absolutely, know, to yeah. see that. But it's been nice to share some of our memories. Yeah, it is actually. It's a, it's a part of our British life that yeah. and around the world as well, which is now vanished will charles still have the same legacy as elizabeth probably not um and whatever you think of the royal family you know you can't even i know friends who are not royalists whatsoever say a bit like me but they have got no problem with queen elizabeth yeah there's a sort of love and familiarity with her you know i mean just briefly with canada because obviously i i was out there and it's you know i keep in touch Mm -hmm. and they've just given the uh, um bank holiday Oh um, right, okay. For that, but they do they call them bank holidays as well? Th- they, are, um, they call it. Um, I call them Labor Days in America. I think in North this is America. a ba- a bank holiday, but for them, because <laughs> the, a lot of people were saying about not being part of the Commonwealth anymore, but Canada, I don't think, will be one of them because all the provinces, you'd have to change so much mm-hmm. with all the provinces, it will stay probably as it is, and they love her. Like when I when I was out there, you know, I was out there for for quite some time. And they love the Queen, and they are very proud of their heritage. Mm-hmm. Not everybody, but majority is, you know. And so they're all they're all sort of sitting there glued to it. So I think, as you're right, it's not just here; it's around the world. Mm, Agreed. What so, are your memories? Yeah, what's your, please give us your uh, comments in the comments below, um, mm. or if you're listening, listening to this on Spotify, please let us know what your memories are. Um, yeah, of her reign, like of her what, rain, what, yeah. what 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 sort of times in your life as you can, you know, relate to her? Yeah. Did you, I mean, if this comes out, hopefully this will be out before the funeral. So if it is, you know, are you going to watch the funeral? Um, will I? Yeah, probably. Yeah, me too. I might be working double time, bank holiday now. Yeah. Um, but yeah. But thanks very much for listening. Thanks, Wendy. That's really, really interesting, sort of going back over our Likewise. bit of nostalgia. Well, we like it a bit of nostalgia, yeah, don't, don't we? Don't we yes, we, we do. do. We do. And it's nice to be back. Yes. Yeah. Sorry for being a couple of weeks. We were supposed to record from our time recording this last week but um, life got in the way unfortunately on the Tuesday night but what a way to come back with what a topic so thanks for joining us again yeah thank you and we'll see you next time don't care Bye. bye bye